What's going on guys? It is August the 7th. We are on our way to try to find some Pokemon cards, specifically the, the Marnie collection box. It came out yesterday, I haven't had any luck finding it yet. So we're gonna go uh, see if we can find it. But we're gonna get some food first. See you there. Here we are. Man, it's been a while since I've had five guys. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the thing about uh, bringing, bringing the wife with you but on these kind of trips is you gotta go to stores like this. Some Star Wars pancakes, you got some Darth Vader. R2, nice. This is the only only cool section in the entire store, right here. That'll do, big, that'll do. Turns out, Hobby Lobby has these Dollar General tins that I've been looking for for the past couple days, the new ones. There is uh, three different ones. Would not recommend picking up from Hobby Lobby because you can see it was $20 for one tin with three packs when you can get it from Dollar General for $13 if you can find it. So definitely don't pick these up from uh, Hobby Lobby. All right, here we are, the first stop of the disappointment train all aboard. All right, so as far as uh, Pokemon cards go, there is nothing. We got these Oreo minis. Couldn't find any cards, but we found this. A Fruit Loop Kit Kat. We're gonna try it out, see how it is. All right, so we have a weird fleshy pink color with some sparkles in there. It tastes like Fruity Pebbles, but different. All right, here we are at the Holy Grail of Walmart, of Walmart's Hopefully we can find the Marnie uh, collection box in there. Let's see. All right, we've got quite a lot of stuff. That is false, that is not clearance, that's full price. We got some battle styles in there. What else we got? Some random stuff over here. I'm not seeing the, the Marnie box, unfortunately. We got some tins up here. Some of those. A whole bunch of these three pack posters, or two pack posters that is. Some of these check lane blisters of chilling rain. Man, I was really hoping we could we could find that here, but I'm not seeing it. I don't see any of the new stuff, so maybe they haven't brought the new stuff by here yet. Interesting. So I was in the back checking the back area and I was like, you know, let me like check the electronics as well. This is the first time I've ever seen a new generation Xbox in person. Like, was unexpected. I mean there's no Xbox Series X, which is the one I want. But I thought it was pretty cool just to see the Xbox Series S out in the wild. Crazy. One last uh, stop for the day, Dollar General. We're gonna see if we can find some of those new tins. We got a nice broken bottle right there. Let's let's go inside. Look at that. There we go. That one. And this one. And we already got that one. But those are the three you can get at Dollar General. All right, glad we were able to get the final two of the set we needed. Although the store did, the entire store, smelled like a certain illegal substance that we will not discuss, but <laughs> let's go uh, back to the studio and open these cards up. Guys, here we are. We've got the three tens we got today from the Pokemon card hunt. Of course, one of these things is not like the other. You see that $20 price tag on the Mimikyu 10 because we weren't sure we we're going to be able to find the rest of them. But uh, yeah, turns out we were able to find the rest of them in a very, very strange color general. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. So we've got all three of the new. I, which I, what I thought were Dollar General exclusive tents, but they obviously are not. But I, I believe that's where you're going to have your best luck trying to find these. I don't believe these are like Walmart tents in any way. You're not going to find these at a big box store. You can only find them at, uh, what I can tell, Dollar General and Hobby Lobby. I don't believe they're going to show up anywhere else. Maybe a Family Dollar or something. But um, as you can see, these are going to have 
three standard booster packs instead of having the one dollar booster packs that we're used to. So here you go. There's the card for this one. Very cool. There is your code for that one. Also, very cool. And we've got three packs. I don't know what the packs are, but we're gonna see what the packs if they vary between the three different tens we have. I don't believe they will. We got a vivid voltage, darkness of blaze, rebel clash. Okay. I believe that's what they're all. Going to be. If I had to guess, I believe they're all gonna be the same. There is the Snorlax card. These are all just cards from different sets. That's for that one's from Rebel Clash. The, the uh, Dark Ride was from Darkness of Blaze. I believe the Mini Q is from Vivid Voltage. Yeah, so those are all the same. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Maybe we can get some cool cards today. Who knows? We'll, we'll soon find out, huh? All right, and here's the last one. We've got the Mini Q 10. Looking very, very fresh. This overpriced Mimikyu 10 that we paid $20 for. For three booster packs. Three Pokemon three Pokemon booster packs that we paid $20 for. Hopefully we can get a good pull out of that and try to, to recuperate some of that money we're definitely going to lose out on. But here we go. Let's go ahead and get into opening these packs. But before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button below because at 5,000 subscribers I'll be giving away this Sun and Moon Burning Shadows Elite Trainer Box. So, you're going to want to not miss out from when we hit 5,000 subs. I'll be giving this guy away to one of you guys. Or girls. Whatever. Alright, let's get into the open. First pack up, Vivid Voltage. We still have not pulled the Chunkachu. So that's something that I'm looking for here. And today's Pokemon card opening. Are you with me? Are you with me? I need your luck. I need your, I need your Juju so we can get this, this uh, Rainbow Rare Pikachu. That's been evading us ever since the November of 2020. We're already in August. Believe it or not, we are already in August of 2021. This set's been out for almost a year, and I dropped the cards because you know it's not a legendary video. If I don't drop the Pokemon cards, luckily, nothing of note in those. So we're all good. We're all good, guys. We're all good. All right, next up, we've got Darkness of Blaze. My boy Cinescorch rocking the front of this pack art. Love me some Cinescorch. Definitely one of my, my new top 10 favorite Pokemon. Oh, there we go. Since uh, the release of Sword and Shield, which reminds me, I, I need to do another uh, top 10 Pokemon video for this channel. This energy feels strange. So I did one way back when I first started the channel when there was only six generations of Pokemon, and now that there's eight generations of Pokemon, I need to redo it. And uh, I don't know, I think it could be interesting. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd like to see. Uh, a top 10 Pokemon list for my favorite Pokemon. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Colossal. Go we got some good gold card. Secret Rare Luck from Dollar General here recently. If you watched my last video, you know we pulled the gold quick ball. Let me get my sleeves real quick. So that's another, and just like, you know, 15 packs or so from Dollar General. We pulled two gold cards? I'll take that luck all day, man. Look at that. Beautiful Colossal. Put it over here to the side. Perfect. All right, now we've got a Rebel Clash. Ah, here we go. This is a set I haven't opened a whole, a whole lot of because um, when it came out, I wasn't doing videos at the time. All these cards are a little, little damage. I can't really see it. They're a little damage on the left hand side. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. All right, here we go. We got a Metal Energy. I haven't guessed it yet because you know I'm just gonna get it wrong anyway. So why bother? Why bother? We got an Impidimp, a Magmar. Electabuzz, Squobit, Masquerain, and a Whiskash to round out that pack. Next up, we've got another Vivid Voltage. Solid, solid set in my opinion. One of the best sets of Sword and Shield we've had so far. Even though I believe once Evolving Skies comes around, I believe Evolving Skies will take the throne as the best Sword and Shield set. Uh, for now, you can always be overthrown later. You never know what what the Pokemon Company is going to release next year. We've probably got another year, uh, 2022, 2022, full of more Sword and Shield sets before they move on to the next generation of Pokemon. And uh, Magearna, but it is a Hollow. Look at that, nice. I was hoping that our set coming in November was going to be um, Shining Pearl and. Brilliant Diamond, is that right there? Brilliant Diamond, Brilliant Pearl, Shining it. I don't know, you know you don't talk. The remakes of Sinnoh. Uh, I was hoping they were going to be themed around those games, but alas, they are not. They seem to be the fusion sets. I, call it, I think it's called 
Fusion, I don't know, they, they announced it. It's called Fusion something. I, I don't apologize for not knowing exactly what it's called, but it's something to do with the Fusion, which we, we could have guessed. I was really, really holding out for Diamond and Pearl uh, sets. Kind of like how we had Heart Gold, Soul Silver sets back in the day. All right, here we go. We got a Gotha Toe, Paris, Moreep, Familiar Bell, and a Slowbro V looking nice with a little shell on his arm there. Throw that over here to the side real quick. Very nice. All right, we've got Rebel Clash. Last pack of the, I believe this is the Mimic U10, the $20 one, if I'm not mistaken. All right, here we go. Boom, there's your code for that. Which these, these sets, uh, getting almost to be two years old now for some of these sword and, earlier Sword and Shield sets, which is crazy to think about. All right, we've got a Roller Coley, Metacide, Grubbin, Electabuzz, Natu, Pokeball, a Spiritomb is the last card. So I got distracted. My phone kind of like spazzed out for a second. Hopefully I didn't mess the video up. No, I think we're good. It's still recording, so I don't know. Let's see. All right, Rebel Clash. One more again. Uh oh, the last pack of Rebel Clash here. In today's Pokemon card opening. Let's get it open. Boom. There you go with your code. We got four to the front. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna go ahead and guess this one is Water Energy. Ah. See, I told you, this is gonna be wrong. It's gonna be wrong. All right, we got Charger Bug, Skunk Tank, Barboach, Squobit, Applin, Temple, Shrubbish, Obama Snow, and another Hollow Rare, but this time it's a Chandelure from Rebel Clash. I'll take it. I'll take me a Hollow Rare, for sure. Darkness of Blaze, guys. Still got that Charizard we can pull. We did pull the Shining Charizard from Shining Fates, which is an epic pull. Ended up getting a BGS 10 on that card. So, it would be nice to get his brother, even though I sold it. <laughs> From Darkness Ablaze, one, two, three, and four. We were so close to the black label, guys. It was it was one subgrade away. Had a 9.5 instead of a 10, and we would have had a black label. It was it was crazy. All right, we got a more little Panseer, Teddy Ursa, Trapinch, Vanillite, a Star Raptor, and the final card is another Hollow Rare Corviknight with the little guy with the little taxi guy on his back. Very neat, very neat. Oh, I messed up. That was a triple P. This is twice in a row now that I have missed the triple P. I'd like to make a formal apology to all my subscribers out there. I'm sorry. I will try to reduce the amount of triple P's that I miss in the future. Hope that you can forgive me. And uh, in the meantime, we'll move on to Vivid Voltage. Thanks for your understanding. All right, we got Vivid Voltage here. That's crazy. I don't know how I keep forgetting, how I keep forgetting the triple P, man. I was so good for so long, but I, I think it's because I haven't opened that much cards recently because there hasn't been much to open, honestly. There hasn't been anything new. Like, it's crazy. But we have a little bit of new stuff, and we got a lot of new stuff at the end of August that I'm really hyped for, such as Evolving Skies. All right. We've got a Metal Energy, a Stunfisk, Sableye, Gramorant, Talo, Charmander, Wooper, Galarian Meowth, Cottony, Ruff Ruff, and a Toucan Sam doing the Toucan dance. Not really, he's kind of just just walking. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like rating down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Be entered to win that Burning Shadows Elite Trainer Box once we hit 5k. Until next time, stay legendary.